Right, not very pretty. We were planning to use angle grinder, but for some reason we didn't manage to get it work. So we end up doing this, but it will work. Look how beautiful it is. So this should be about ready to go now. So the basic idea is that we have a big barrel and then we have a small barrel inside the big barrel. And the small one is full of all sorts of scrap wood. And also we have uh, wood around the small barrel inside the big barrel and also at the bottom. And the idea is that we have an, we have a fire uh, at the bottom and at the sides and we have the lid on the bottom of the small barrel so uh, there shouldn't be too much oxygen inside the small bar barrel and what that does is uh, when the when it heats up when it's really hot and there's not much oxygen it will turn the scrap wood into charcoal, hopefully. We have some holes in the lid, as you saw, so that when the small barrel gets really hot, uh, the wood gases from the wood can exit through those holes, and they come out from the sides and hopefully start burning also, and they feed to the heat, so it becomes even more hot. And we have a couple air holes at the bottom of the big barrel, that will hopefully draw some oxygen to the bottom fire. And then when it's uh, been burning long enough, we close everything up and just wait for it to cool down and see if we have any charcoal. We do have a small problem, probably, in that the small barrel is made of zinc 
and zinc's melting point is significantly lower than steel's so there is the possibility that the zinc will melt basically and we won't have a barrel anymore <laughs> we'll have to see how this turns out but that was the only barrel that we could find so let's try if it doesn't work we can find another small barrel and try again it's been about half an hour burning now and it looks like the wood gas is started to burn you can actually hear it No more gas is coming there, so I think it's time to close up the system. Alright, it's cooled now pretty well, so I'm gonna take off this stuff. Let's see, how did it work? The moment of truth. It's still in one piece, so that's great. Whoa, <laughs> that looks good. It's still quite hot. But let's try. Oh, that sounds good cool Oh, also. that's perfect. Can you hear that? Amazing. Perfect stuff. It looks like this barrel worked perfectly. No problem. It has to be, there has to be some other metal in this also other than zinc it's some kind of an alloy probably because i think it, if it was only zinc it would have melted because it was very hot but this was surprisingly fast process i was waiting like like it, it would take like a couple of hours to burn but after all it was about an hour four or five minutes 50 minutes something like that yeah, it was pretty quick. And then cooling took about an hour or so. Yeah. I originally found out about this concept from Cody's lab. So if you haven't seen his YouTube channel, go and check out his great stuff. And like Cody said, this homemade charcoal is absolutely tasteless, so you can actually eat it. It tastes like nothing, but it's difficult to eat, I have to say. Okay, so there are two reasons why making charcoal is interesting and the first one is the fact that charcoal makes the soil better for gardening so I can use it in, in my garden next summer and the second reason I think Alex can explain it better yeah so the wood obviously comes from trees and the trees have uh, collected a lot of carbon from the atmosphere during their lifetime and usually when the tree falls and decomposes in the ground, it releases all that carbon back to the atmosphere as carbon dioxide. And the idea here is that when we make charcoal from the wood, we, we can contain a lot of that carbon in the, in, the, in, the, in the charcoal and then 
if we mix that charcoal up uh, with the soil in the ground and bury it in the ground, it will hopefully stay there for hundreds of years, maybe even thousands of years, and it won't go into the air. So making charcoal and burying it in the ground is also active climate work, basically. And by the way, if you are interested in this kind of envir environmental things, please go and check out uh, teamtrees.org. Yeah, so Team Trees, I'm sure you've already heard about it if you are following YouTubers. It's an initiative to plant 20 million trees and uh, collect the funding for that during this end of this year. So they are planning to plant those 20 million trees if they get the funding next year in 2020. So you should go see and maybe donate something. It will help. And it also helps if you plant yourself. And I think we still have a couple of hours today, so maybe we can do our part of this thing and plant a couple of trees. Yeah, that will be good.